up. Then give it to us. Oh, Pop, 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 we are all still. How many times have we killed today? Oh, Pop, 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 we are all still. How many times have we killed today? Oh, Pop, 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 we are all still. How many times have we killed today? Craig Golden, Craig Hunter, they have killed him. It's a bloody disgrace. Hear us, eh, Pop, we're angry. Because I'm very much against what the government is currently doing, how the DWP have subcontracted out to us a private IT company that, where they don't have any medical training whatsoever and they make life altering decisions that often leave people impoverished or even dead in the extreme you know, end of the example. Um, basically, yeah, people need to be aware of um, what the condom are doing, um, the treatments of sick and disabled people. Um, generally the whole Ian Duncan Smith's wealth reform is a complete joke. Ian Duncan Smith himself has no qualifications. He's a complete psychopathic fraud, a failed leader, basically inflicting his own inadequacy onto people, um, viciously attacking the vulnerable in society. And I think people need to know about this. There's been a lot of media blackout about events such as this. And it'd be great to see more and more people coming together to show support. Can you pick up a pint of milk? It didn't say, can you open a pint of milk? So you, you, might, you might be perfectly capable of picking up that amount of weight, yeah. but you couldn't do anything useful with it yeah. because perhaps you didn't have the capacity for fine movements or you didn't have a good grip. But at least you could pick it up and so that was a yes. What do you think about the fact that in one of the wealthiest countries in the world we're having, you know, upwards of 10,000 disabled people dying because they can't claim benefits. Well, we're the sixth public. richest nation in the world and it's just so unevenly distributed and people are paying the price for bad business decisions and it's got to be stopped. Um, it's just a complete um, sham the way it's on. It's, it's, it's fair to make money. It's not there. It's not even legit medical you know, like it's, it's an IT company. It's an IT company. Yeah, it's just it's the whole fact that um, this has been even allowed to actually happen is a travesty. I'm due to be assessed myself at some point, which I'm dreading. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm registered blind and I suffer with mental health problems, so I'm very limited to the type of work I can actually do. I have worked in the past, but I've been bullied and discriminated against at work, so. Uh, I had to leave unfortunately. So I'm just in here, I'm here in solidarity with everyone else and hopefully I can use some of my poetry to help unite all of these different groups. There's many doctors, nurses that are all speaking out against it because they cannot morally carry on doing this job because they come into healthcare to help people and it's not helping people, it's persecuting people just feeling. And I must say I just felt that the whole thing was a charade. I didn't feel that the person asking the questions had any comprehension of people's disabilities, really. I mean, they were asking the questions they were given to ask, and they were performing their, their duties. They, they, they have to meet quotas and targets to get as many people off ESA and uh, DLA as possible. But the thing is, if you're not capable of work, and they say that you are, if they lie basically in the medical, as which they, they often do, yeah. You, um, they put you onto JSA, Job Seekers Allowance. If you've got a severe disability or health problem, how can you actually find a job and search for it? It's so punitive, you know, it's cruel and punitive. I mean, I, I, I think saying that Atos is profiteering, well, I don't know. I don't know if they have hidden targets that they're supposed to fail X number of people. Um, you could say that because I worked in mental health, I was profiteering from it. Uh, you know, I was doing a job and these are people who want jobs and they're working. Um, but I think that it is set up as a filter to filter out a high proportion of people. Who do you think should be responsible for judging whether or not someone's actually able to work? Obviously um, GPs and stuff. It's, it's, it's as simple as and they're basically here to overwrite the decisions. The only way this is only here to enforce false decisions, um, to remove people from the system. It's um, a complete setup, the whole thing. Would you say it's a scam? Yes, it's a scam, pure and simple, yeah. Who do you think should be responsible 
for deciding whether or not somebody's fit and able to work? Um, I think the person should be responsible for, to see if they're fit and able to go to work. Not the French IT company? No. no. I don't think we can be scared, you know, North Fall peaceful protest isn't illegal yet. We're not a dictatorship and we yes. shouldn't be scared to um, come out and, and voice these concerns, you know. We aren't doing anything wrong. They're the ones doing wrong.